Hi, this is Juan from Moleme Mucho. Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be speaking about Oud Dubai by Dara Karo. Hi, welcome to Moleme Mucho, the channel dedicated to niche fragrances, colognes, and perfumes. And today we're going to be speaking about Oud Dubai, and this one is by Dara Karo. For me, this is one of the best Oud fragrances that I've ever smelled one of the best fragrances of 2023 hands down so uh let's start this is a brand that is uh, based in spain and the idea that they have is that the best creators of perfumes are in the middle east and uh that the best quality of products are in the western world so that's what they've done they did they, they design the fragrances in the middle east and they are producing them here so the full uh development of this brand is incredible and i i mean i really like it very much and this fragrance has really surprised me and it has grown more and more and more into my heart and let me explain i've already applied it but i mean the thing is that this is a, a fragrance that starts like a magnificent oud, but this is an oud that it's going to be loved by almost everyone. And let me explain, this is powerful, intense. This is a uh, fragrance that is going to get uh, in your nose and up to your stomach because it's super intense. It's got that dark woods vibe, that uh, oud vibe taking away the animalic part, which has the normally the Indian wood, which is the wood that is mostly used in Western perfumery. In this case, this one is they've taken out the animalic vibe, but not, animalic, uh, vibe, but not the intensity or the density of this fragrance. So you've got that energy. Then it is a very bright and powerful uh, wood here. And it can also, you have the sense as if you enter a room that has just been painted and you know that scent, that scent of paint, of wet paint gets into your nose and it goes very fast into your lungs or your stomach or whatever. It's like you get hit by a truck. This one does not smell like paint, but it has that effect on your senses. It's like, wow, what just happened? You just take a step back. But that's not all you got that you've got this intense wood plus you get some darkness to it you start smelling darker and in my opinion that is not only the dark woods of the wood this one has a kind of incensey vibe so it's dark and dominant you've got saffron added to it and so you start getting this darkness but when you believe that is going to be it you start seeing that this has vanilla underneath and this vanillic underneath uh, with the darkness you would expect this to go get a tone down and you think well how have they done it to have a fragrance that it should smell here to smell up here in terms of intensity energy power and well you add bergamot to it you add some citric vibe to it so you've got an energetic, vibrant, powerful, elegant, dominant fragrance. And for me, it is incredible. So for me, this is a kind of fragrance that has really surprised me. If you are a fragrance, uh, an oud lover that doesn't like the too animalic or you think it's too much for going to work or whatever, this one is the one. Because, I mean, if you like Oud Wood by Tom Ford, or if you like Carved Oud by uh, Thamin, or, uh, or Saurak by Spirit of Kings, or those kind of darker, intense kind of fragrances, this is the one. It is incredible. I should do a list of uh, darker woods that are more for everyone, and this one would be one of the best. For me, this is a fragrance that is not for everyone, not everyone, but it's going to love that kick in the senses are going to love this darker kind of vibe but rest assured wearing this you are going to be the most powerful dominant person in the room a lot of people ask me does this get compliments with this one you don't need this you don't need compliments you don't need anything you have the confidence you have the power and you have the 
being so memorable that people are going to just be attracted directly to you. You want that? This gets it done. So for me, this is a fragrance that is for the perfect consultant, for the perfect uh, lawyer, for the perfect uh, super seller of super expensive stuff. I mean, if you have, uh, if your company or the business development manager of a super high tech or super, something that requires confidence, that requires presence, and that requires trustworthiness. This is what you get. And you get it, you really get it. For going into an event, uh, being super elegant and memorable, this is the one. This is, for me, is a fragrance that is going to be, is completely unisex. It's going to be bought much more by men than by women, in my opinion. But please, everyone try it and see if it, this one is for you or not. This is incredible. This is something that I've been so surprised. This fragrance, it's the second one I review of the brand. The first one is Oud Coffee, and the Oud Coffee is uh, the one that surprised me the most uh, of the two when I started smelling, but this has grown more into me. And the more I wear it, the more I like it. So this started probably below Oud Coffee, but now it's boom, 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 boom. And this for me is one of the best fragrances of 2023, hands down. In my experience, it's by the end of the year that suddenly you have a fragrance that just blows up your nose, blows up your senses, and you realize that there's something that you are enjoying so much. Well, this year, I don't know if um, you know what I'm saying. This is a fragrance that I, you can totally think that I'm recommending it to you in a subtle way. Because for me, this is one of the biggest discoveries of 2023 and one of the biggest discoveries in perfumery, full stop. So, what can I say? Try it, try it, try it, and see if this one is for you or not. For me, indeed it is. Not for everyone. You have to like wood, you have to like powerful fragrances, and you have to enjoy this kind of vibe. Fragrance that I find for day and for night, a fragrance that I would be using all year round, because wood in the summer tends to concentrate and during winter tends to expand. But because uh, we are in the Western world, I would recommend this one more for colder days and hotter days, even though this is an all year round fragrance, in my opinion. So what can I say? Try it and see for yourselves if you like it or not. One and a half meters projection, it lasts, it, depending on the day, between six and 14 hours. I don't know what's the, the point on this, but my, trick is to apply it within your uh, um, clothes or inside your cleavage, whatever, and you're going to have a fragrance that is going to last way longer than you can totally imagine. Great fragrance, my recommendation for today, and I hope that you try it and you see for yourselves if this kind of fragrance is for you or not. In the meantime, yes, my friends, this is the end of the video. Hope that you've liked it. If you have, just give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and I look very much forward to seeing you in the next videos of Huele Me Mucho. Talk to you soon. Adios, adios.